Hey, what's going on everybody? So today I'm gonna to explain arrays in JavaScript. Think of an array as a variable-like structure that can hold more than one value. For example, let's say we had a variable named fruit. Go ahead and pick a fruit. I'll pick an apple. Our variable can store one value, but we can turn a variable into an array and it can store more than one value. And we can do so by enclosing all values with a set of straight brackets. Now my variable of fruit is now an array. It can store more than one value. Just be sure that each value is comma separated. This time I'll add an orange and a banana. Just to make it more obvious that this is an array, I'm going to add an S so that my variable name is plural. It's not mandatory, but it helps with readability. I now have an array of fruits, but let me show you something. If I were to console.log my array of fruits, well, JavaScript is going to print out all of the elements in this array. Each item, each value is known as an element. We have three elements. If you need to access an individual element, following the array, you have to add an index number enclosed in straight brackets. If I would like the element at the first position, that would have an index of zero. That would give me an apple. Fruits at index of one would be orange. Fruits at index of two is banana. If I were to attempt to access the element at index three, well, it's undefined. We only have three elements within our array. Zero, one, two. Arrays always begin with zero. You can even change one of these elements by accessing that array at a given element. Let's access our array fruits at index zero. I will set this equal to be a coconut. So now we have coconut, orange, banana, Let's change fruits at index one to be a coconut, apple, coconut, banana. Index two will be a coconut, apple, orange, coconut. If I set fruits at index three to be a coconut, let me console.log that too. Fruits at index three, we can add a new element to that array. Otherwise to add an element, there's a built-in method of arrays. Fruits.push to push an element to the end. I will add a coconut to the end of my array. Apple, orange, banana, coconut. Then we have pop. Pop is going to remove the last element. Apple, orange, undefined. The unshift method will add an element to the beginning. Take our array. Use the unshift method. Unshift. I will add a mango to the beginning of my array. Mango, apple, orange, banana. Then we have shift to remove an element from the beginning. Fruits.shift. Now we have an orange banana, and my last two elements are undefined. To get the length of an array, there's a length property. Let's create a new variable. Let num of fruits to store the number of fruits that we have. Type the array name dot length. Then let's console.log the number of fruits we have. We have three fruits. I'll add another, I'll add a coconut to the end, and we have four. So that's how to get the length of an array. There's a length property. Type the array name, dot length. We can find the index of an element if there's a match. Let index equals, let's search for an apple. Fruits dot index of method what are we searching for? Let's search for an apple. Then I will display the index. So our apple is located at index zero. Let's search for an orange. That's index one. Banana. That's two. Coconut. Three. What if we search for an element that doesn't exist, like a mango? Well, this method will return negative one. That could be helpful within an if statement. You can check to see if this method returns negative one. Then if it does, that means the element wasn't found and you can let the user know. If index equals negative one, display that element wasn't found. Now, if you would like to loop through the elements and display them, there's an easier way to do that. You can use a for loop. So for, there's up to three statements. We'll need a counter or some sort of index. Let i equal zero, that's the first statement. We'll continue this as long as i is less than our fruits array dot length property. 
then we will increment i by 1. If we have four elements, we should execute this loop four times. During each iteration, I will console.log our fruits array, but the index, instead of being like 0, 1, 2, 3, a hard number, we'll use our counter, our index of i. And let's get rid of that line. Now we should loop through all of the elements of this array and print them out individually. Using a for loop, we can even increment by a different number, like 2. i plus equals 2. So here we're only displaying the apple and the banana. If I set index to be 1, then increment by 2, we'll display orange, then coconut. So using a for loop, there's a few different ways in which you can display the elements of an array. If you need to display the order of this array in reverse, we can change this around. We will set our counter i to be the length of our array. Then we'll continue as long as i is greater than or equal to 0, then i minus minus. There's one change I'm going to make. We have undefined coconut, banana, orange, apple. So the length of my array is 4. But if I were to access our array fruits at index 4, where would that be? 0, 1, 2, 3. That's out of bounds. I'm going to set our index to be fruits.length minus 1. 0, 1, 2, 3. Our length is 4, minus 1 is a total of 3. Now we're printing our array in reverse. Coconut, banana, orange, apple. There's also an enhanced for loop. It's a shortcut to displaying the elements of an array. You can write something like this. Let fruit of our array fruits. Really, this variable can be anything, but I like to write a singular version of my array name. Then during each iteration, I will display each fruit. Apple, orange, banana, coconut. This is an enhanced for loop. It's kind of like a shortcut to displaying the elements of an array. If this array name were, I don't know, like meats, you could say, let meat of meats. And then display each meat. But of course, they're still fruit. That's a shortcut you can use. Now to sort an array, you can use the sort method. Fruits.sort. And that should sort the elements in alphabetical order. Apple, banana, coconut, orange. To sort them in reverse order, you can tack on the reverse method to the end. Fruits.sort method dot reverse method. Now they're all backwards in reverse alphabetical order. Orange, coconut, banana, apple. All right, everybody. So that's an introduction to arrays. We'll have a lot of practice with this in the future. So if you don't remember everything, that's okay. An array is a variable like structure that can hold more than one value. A variable can hold one value. An array can hold many. And well, everybody, those are arrays in JavaScript.